Ever since I was a small boy, I really thought that rhinos were something very special. There's something about a rhino and its power and its speed and that huge great horn in it that makes it seem something really fantastic. And now I know that they really are. Um, I know many rhinos very personally. They have real personalities. They are incredible animals, but they're also in huge trouble. So in East Africa and South Africa, their horn has been the big problem for them. They have been poached for many, many years and their populations have crashed to critical levels. They're now critically endangered. In the past, this has been mainly for um, dagger handles in the Middle East, um, but the threats changed a little bit now. And now today we're seeing a bigger change in terms of, of oriental medicines and the, and the need for um, rhino horns to, to supplement that. Um, I have personally spent four days tracking a black rhino through the bush of East Africa. It's just an amazing experience. And after four days, we found this particular rhino. She was um, doing the things that rhinos do. They're very solitary. She was feeding. Um, and it was an amazing experience for me. It was life-changing for me to see her in her wild environment. Absolutely tremendous. What really was incredible, though, was that two months later, she had been poached. And so had her calf when I'd seen her. She was pregnant. And they'd also dehorned the calf, probably a couple of inches of horn. So these animals are disappearing at an alarming rate and my children would be extremely fortunate to be able to see these animals in the wild unless we do something to protect them. There's been a huge amount of um, efforts put into black rhinos but it takes money and it takes care and it takes people who really actually are passionate about their rhinos. It can be done but we need to do an awful lot more in terms of funding and in terms of protection to make sure that rhinos are there for our children.